This is the best offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! It is so explosive, you can literally score every single play. Drop bombs. It has multiple one play touchdowns versus every single defense in the game. And your opponent will have no idea how to stop it. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, oh my god! Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The plays that I'll be using today can be found among the Warren Saints offense and Denver Broncos defensive ebooks. As to me, these are the two best playbooks to use in Madden 23 right now. Before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more gameplay Woo! tips like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. But if you want to see more money plays right now from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and have them sent to the email of your choice to download them instantly to your phone or computer. I started this game out on offense and I will once again be using my gun stack Y Flex all game. Game. As to me, this is the most explosive and hardest to stop offense in Madden 23. I have changed my 5 play audibles all year, but I finally settled in on the Drive H wheel, which is a 1 play touchdown against cover 3, cover 1, and cover 0. This play also has routes that beats both man and zone, and is probably my most used play in this offense. My second most used play is the inside zone, which is the only run play I need in this formation. Anytime I see a light box, I will switch over to this run play. The last two plays are already in my audibles, and those are the fade out, which is now now a one play touchdown against cover two, cover three, cover four, and even man coverages. And last but not least, the PA read, which is a one play touchdown against cover two man or zone, as well as both cover four match and cover four regular. In these four audible plays alone, I have multiple one play touchdowns against every single defense in the game to different areas of the field. The fifth play that I select will change between the sail and pivot and the Y sail, which both are man beating plays and can also be one play touchdowns. The most important thing when it comes to running this offense is your ability to read the defense. I make a full breakdown video on how to do this every single year so if you guys want to know more about how to do this better i will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop up at the end of the video so stick around for that you can tell that based off of the fact that the cornerbacks are about eight yards off the line of scrimmage this defense could also be cover one but if you look to the stack receiver side one of the cornerbacks is playing a little bit too much outside which means this is a cover three zone as man defenders typically like to line up right in front of their receivers as not to give any inside or outside leverage on routes so now that i know it's a cover three i'm going to immediately switch over to my best cover three won't play touchdown to fade out cover three has become one of the most popular defenses online lately and this might be the best cover three won't play touchdown in the game since there's so little that your opponent can do to stop it you just have to make sure that you're on a hash mark and running this to the open side of the field so i'm going to flip the play first then the only adjustment you have to do is to put the b route on a comeback route and that's it cover three corners are notoriously programmed to react to comeback routes in their area so all you have to do is wait for the receiver to get outside then bullet and pass lead away from the cornerback and you can see that only the sideline can stop you as we get 40 yards on the first play. On the next play, choose the Y sail because like the sail and pivot, this play has multiple man beating routes, but it also has two routes that beat zone coverage like cover three, making this much more versatile. I read cover zero on the next play, which is what he's going to run the rest of the drive. You can tell because the safeties are aligned right in front of the tight end and slot receiver in the stack. So I hit the tight end on a sail route, which beats man or zone for an easy first down. Since he is in man zero, I go back to the sail and pivot because every route in this play beats man coverage. But for some reason, the ball is thrown behind the tight end and I am lucky that wasn't an interception. I hurry up to keep him in this defense and I recently started making a new adjustment on this play where I put the Y route on a zig to the outside just to give myself a better option if the user covers the tight end. But on this play he is left in the middle of the field covering nothing as I hit the tight end again for an easy touchdown as we complete every pass on the opening drive. On the defensive side, I chose the Seahawks for their offense, as their defense might be one of the worst in Madden 23, especially when it comes to the cornerbacks, as all they really have is Tariq Woolen, making this a tough matchup against the Bengals, since they might have the best receiving core in the game, as Boyd is wide open over the middle on the next play. One of the defenses I'm going to be showing you is out of the Dime 2-3 Cover 2 Man, which is a defense that I put out just yesterday, and I will once again have links in the description if you guys want to see more. Just make sure to set ball in the air defense to play receiver, and you will get more pass breakups like this. No! 
My opponent is going to be running the so-called meta gun bunch and gun tight formations pretty much all game. So we will find out which offense is better. On the next play, all the receivers are locked up and we get a sack, knocking it back to third and 26 before he completes another big pass over the middle on the exact same play. He then hurries it up on fourth and two and has a crosser open over the middle. Nope. But we get a knockout again thanks to playing the receiver and coaching adjustments. Back on offense, my opponent is still in cover zero. One of the reasons this offense is so good is because of how glitchy the stack wide receivers are versus the meta man coverage is like this and cover one as multiple plays from this formation can be turned to one play touchdowns with a simple streak including the drive age wheel which i keep in my audibles at all times i did start making a new adjustment though where i put the running back on a check and release also as it gives me extra blocking and also turns any defender man to him to a qb spy rather than a deep safety which could also hurt this play the reason this play works is because the receivers are so close together that the back receiver is shielded from the defensive back being able to press him without giving up inside leverage letting him accelerate right past him and all i have to do at this point is lob it up and sprint underneath and we are gone for another big play to take a 14 nothing lead at the end of the first quarter Bad rat. Bad rat. on defense though it's the joe burrow show as he really is only running two plays at this point and i don't have the secondary to keep up with these receivers as he scores quickly in just two plays Damn it. so it's obvious that i'm going to have to keep scoring Back on offense, I see he is back in cover three, as this and man zero are the only two defenses he has run so far, and are probably the two most common used in Madden 23 right now. So I flip the play once again and make my comeback route adjustment, and this looks like an instant replay as we gain another 40 yards to start the drive. He then switches back to man zero in the next play, probably because I average 40 plus a play versus cover three. So I hit the tight end on a sail route once again, as this entire drive looks exactly the same as the first one. I decided to switch it up so I don't get too predictable. I expect the running back to be uncovered, but the user's all over it. So on the next play, I motion the running back to the line and put him on a drag route for a blown coverage and a first down. But once inside the red zone, I don't have a good play call and I get sacked for a seven yard loss. I switch over to the Saints fork despite being nine for nine for over 200 yards and two touchdowns from the gun stack life flex game. And on the very first play from a different formation, I throw an interception on a really nice user pick if I'm being honest. Now with a minute left and Joe Burrow heating up, every receiver is getting open as he goes right down the field as Jamar Chase is getting crazy separation regardless of whoever is covering him. Inside the red zone though, those deep corner routes aren't really an option as we stop the running back with a solo tackle in the backfield, causing him to use his last time out with 11 seconds left. On the next play, he hikes the ball while I am still setting up my defense and I'm now stuck on a 67 speed defensive tackle named Puna Ford. It was at this moment that he knew. He f up. And I still somehow get back into coverage to get an interception in the end zone. Who knew that Puna Ford was the shutdown cornerback we needed to stop Jamar Chase? Chill, I bet you here. Now with eight seconds left, most people would run out the clock, but I read cover two man, so I switch over to the PA read. All you have to do to set this up is put the Y route on a fade, and the X route was almost gone. I try to call a timeout to get a field goal attempt, but time expires, and at least I got to show you guys another potential one-play touchdown setup, right? Back on defense, I started trying some new coverage but he finds the open man every single time as I'm having no success slowing down his offense as even his tight end is now getting in on the party but at least I knocked Joe Burrow out of the zone on the last drive as he punches it in to tie the game on the next play, I go back to the wide sale and hit the tight end who gets open against his cover three just to guarantee a first down before I see he is in cover zero once again so I go back to the drive H wheel one more time to score from 41 yards out to take the lead back on defense, since he's in the gun bunch and you can't block the tight end, I try to hit him with the man zero blitz, and he looks like he is waiting for that as he bombs it up, and I barely save the touchdown with a diving tackle. Not that it matters, though, as he scores just a couple of plays later, with Chase getting wide open in the back of the end zone. Damn it! So with 3.15 left, I want to kill a little bit of clock, but I see he's in a cover three once again, and I just can't resist. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Only this time I stay in bounds for the first time this game. I decide to showboat a little bit, but I wasn't expecting this animation where he almost stops entirely. And now it's Joe Burrow's turn. And I know exactly where he's going to go with the ball pre-snap. So I shoot over to try to cover Jamar Chase, but it's just too late as this guy is just too fast. And he burns the double coverage for a touchdown to tie the game with a little over one minute left. So now with all my timeouts in my pocket and knowing I can score from anywhere against any defense, I start the drive with a run to get the clock moving before reading cover two once again and going back to the PA read only to see my guard get run over which allows me to get sacked and push back to a third and 18 with the game hanging in the balance. I decide to switch back to the Saints fork for the second time this game and I let the clock run all the way down just in case I don't get the first and have to punt it away. But since I can't stop his offense this is probably the game right here. 
as I go up the face catcher to keep my distance from several defenders in the area to make sure that I get the first down. Now with 19 seconds left in the entire field to go, I read cover two man one more time. So I switch over to the PA read and he knows exactly where it is going, but it's too late as the blocking holds up this time and DK Metcalf burns the house down to get me in range for a game winning field goal with 11 seconds left. And my opponent, he doesn't even call his last time out to ice me or nothing, as I'm sure he was just over it at this point. <laughs> Looking at the final stats, I guess we know who had the better offense as I finished the game with more yards, a higher completion percentage, and I won the game. So that's that's the video. If you guys like the content, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as it really helps the channel. Other than that, if you want to see more about how to read defenses or more plays from this explosive offense I was using, I will have links popping up on the screen right now. So check that out as I'm sure it will help out your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. I'm out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.